Alrighty, welcome back in. So today, uh, this video is a little different. It's about building, but it's not me building. It's about where might you want to build? And I think I found a really good spot that would be good for, say, Bag End, maybe a Hobbit hole. I don't know that it would work great for Hobbiton uh, because it's very heavily sloped, but I think for one maybe large hobbit hole with some gardens and things i think it would look quite well so where are we we are at the springlands ancient spire uh just north of where you start the game this is maybe the i think it's the first quest from the blacksmith so easy to get to and we are going straight over to right above my crown there to that high top hill there that you can't easily get to uh this you can get to with the ghost glider with one updraft you can get to with lower uh, quality gliders if you know the multiple updraft trick, but we're gonna go there right now. And I'm gonna take show you how you can kind of parkour up there with just a single updraft and still make it just fine. You can kind of see it right now. It's right above my stamina bar where you get up to the very top. Do a little uh, bunny hop is what I call it. So we're going to jump up here. We can do this. Come on. There we go. Nope. Nope. There we are. Alrighty, we have made it. Now, I have already placed a flame altar, but I didn't want to just hearth over. I wanted to show you easily how to get here. So you get this really nice hill. And where I think specifically a hobbit hole will go that would give some fantastic views is right here on this kind of corner. So I would probably nuke out this little tree right here. And that would give me some really good views of the mountain there and the mountains over there. And then this front side have your uh, windows facing this way. So you got plenty of space for gardens down in here. But there's a little secret up here. Now, during the demo, this was a, it was like Sword in the Stone or something. But now they changed it, and there is a whole mine all to yourself. There's no enemies up here. There is one wolf that runs around somewhere, kind of like on the back side. But you get this entire thing all to yourself. Whether you utilize the mine and actually mine it, or you just have it as a cool feature of your building space, I think it's just really cool. I mean, it's it's not a small mine by any stretch. You could come down here and go into one of the sides and really kind of make it your own. And one benefit, I'll show you once we get back up here to the top, there is the back side that goes kind of off towards the bottom of the map where it just stops. There's something down here that is quite interesting. Snow. You have snow in very close proximity. You could even make your little hobbit area over here. Gets a, gets a little steep, but this little section right here is pretty cool. Uh, very steep right there to where you could have maybe a cliffside, maybe a little less hobbity and a little more dwarven. Same with over here. And have some really spectacular views. And the cool thing about snow, for those who have not ventured around the map, I mean, I have gone around the map. That's probably going to lag me out as soon as I come back. Let's let it sit for a second. When you walk in snow, and, and during the demo, it was called Cold Heights Dirt. I get a debuff called Deep Snow. It's pretty cool. Uh, we can't actually dig it anymore, and I don't understand why they took it out and won't allow us to utilize Cold Heights Dirt, but it is what it is. And then the flip side, on the other side, it gets very steep. 
but goes back around the um, Cinder Vault where you start the game. So if I hop around here to this back side, you can just see it poking out right there. This side's pretty cool too. Uh, again, quite a bit steeper, but I think this could make for a good roadway that goes through and meanders down here, you know, that maybe, maybe this could be your hop. I, I swear I didn't plant that tree right there that looked like it could be sitting right on top of Bag End. Maybe chunk out some of that rock to make this... And, and you could have fields here, and you could have other hobbit holes sticking out. I think this, actually, right here, could be hobbiton quite easily. It's very, very nice look to it. Now, you can't get super duper close to that thing, because it won't let you build close. But I'm going to show you another way to get there, for those who want to stick around now that you've seen the place. If you don't have up... Well, it's going to be a little tough without updraft. But you come here with the Cinder Vault, start the game, you come over here and you go to this side. Double jump, pretty much you, you, just, you just need to have it. You need to get to this spot right over here, so that's going to need one updraft, even with the base level. Then, over here, so you have two options. Have updraft, which will get you right to there. Then you play the bunny hop game all the way up that thing. Or land on that if you don't have updraft, and then use your mining pick as where might you see my head to go right up to that point. It'll take you a little bit of time. You could even drop an altar and use the uh, rake and put it at one angle upward and just go straight up there and make yourself a nice little thing. But one updraft will get you how you need it. So that gets you to there. Like, let's say you have a much lower quality um, glider than the ghost glider, and you can't quite make it to the top section. You can get to here, and then you get to go all the way around the back and start going. Let's see if I can get, get there quick enough. Try not to make this video too long. Yeah, you can kind of get there doing some bunny hopping along here, and I think back here gives you one extra little spot. Right along this. And by the way, that little bunny hop, is it just takes some practice. I'm not spamming the space bar, but I'm kind of just tapping it, giving it a slight pause in between. And that helps you to climb up steeper things than what you can actually run up or jump up. And it works pretty well. Then this, even this lower section here gives you some pretty nice views. And there's no other way to get up here, by the way. And then you got another little thing, just a small one. But still very cool. Very nice spot. Very nice location. It Clearly the devs came in, chunked some of that out, and forgot to smooth it. Whoopsie. But yeah, there's, there is literally no other way to get up to this place besides that first jump from the Cinder Vault or coming from... Uh, Springland's tower, unless you want to just literally mine your way up this thing. Alright, thanks for watching, everyone.